In this presentation, we are going to talk about the types of functions or types of maps. A map takes elements from a set and gives me elements inside a new set. So if this set is called x and this set is called y, then the map t takes elements from x and gives me elements in y. An injective map is a map that gives me unique images for every element in x. So this element in x would be mapped to an element in y. And another element in x would have to be mapped to another element in y for this to be an injective map. The formal definition of an injective map is as follows. If t is a map from x to y, t is injective or one to one if for every x and z that are not the same in x, their images t of x and t of z are not equal. Alternatively, we can say that every element in x has a unique element in y such that the image of x is equal to y. And so the uniqueness here of the image is what makes this map injective. As an example, the function from r to r defined as f of x is equal to x is injective because if I have two different elements in r and I calculate f of each, I will get always two different images. Another example, if we think of the set A as the set of the students in CV398 and set B as the set of all the IDs at the University of Alberta, this is a really large set, then the map G A to B, which assigns every student his or her unique ID, is injective because every student here has a unique ID in the set B. The next type of maps is the surjective maps. And the surjective maps covers all the elements in the set Y. So the surjective map, or the onto map, is such that any element in Y has to have a pre-image in X. The formal definition is as follows. If I have a map T from the set X to the set Y, T is called surjective or onto, it's the same thing, if every element in Y there has to exist an element of a in x such that t of x is y, such that y is the image of x. As an example, the function defined from r to r such that f of x is equal to x is surjective because I, if I pick any element here, I can always find a pre-image in the set r. Another surjective map, if I consider A to be all the students in CV398, and if I consider B as the set that has male or female, and if there is a map that assigns every student their gender, then this map is surjective because the set B, males and females, are covered or is covered by all the students in CV398. The third and last kind of maps that we are going to talk about is a bijective map. A bijective map is a map that can be inverted. And for a map to be inverted, it has to satisfy two conditions. It has to be injective and it has to be surjective. So for a map from X to Y, a map T, for it to be invertible, invertible means I, I can find an inverse to this map, the only way I can find an inverse if two conditions are satisfied. First, every element here has to have a unique image, and every element in Y has to have a pre-image in X. And so the map has to be both injective and surjective so that I can find an inverse. The formal definition if I have a map T from X to Y, T is bijective or invertible if T is both injective and surjective. 
And in that case, I can find a map from the second set to the first set, g from y to x, such that g is the inverse of t. And we can always think of it as this. If I have an x that's in capital X, t of x takes x and gives me an element of y, and if I apply the inverse g to y, I get back the element x. These examples are going to be discussed in class, and you should try to find out which of these are injective but not surjective, which map is surjective but not injective, and which is invertible, and which is neither none of the above.